Hi, I'm Clark Kinnaird from TI with a brief discussion about the fail-safe features of RS-485 receivers. The 485 standard requires receivers to recognize an on state when the differential voltage, A minus B, is more positive than plus 200 millivolts. It requires receivers to recognize an off state when the differential voltage is more negative than minus 200 millivolts. For differential input voltages between minus 200 and plus 200 millivolts, there is no specification in the 485 standard for what the receiver should do. However, since that condition will certainly happen, we want to know that the receiver output will not cause problems. The simplest method for making a receiver predictable or fail-safe is to add a pull-up resistor to one input, typically the A input, and a pull-down resistor to the other line, typically B. This makes a receiver that is fail-safe for open bus conditions because when there is no externally applied voltage, the weak pull-up and pull-down resistors will cause the differential input voltage to a known valid state, typically making the receiver output high. Many older devices use bus open fail-safe. The open fail-safe method won't help when there is an electrical short between the two bus lines or when there are termination resistors and no active drivers. In both these cases, the differential input voltage will be about zero. The output of the receiver may not be predictable. By offsetting the thresholds for the receiver, typically below zero, a receiver can be designed which will output a known state, typically high, when the bus lines are open or shorted or idle. RS-485 devices from TI have receivers that are fail-safe for all three conditions, open, short, and idle bus. Look for those conditions in the receiver function table. For more information, please see the TI web. Thanks 